in this video we will solve this initial value problem. Since it is a second order linear equation, then the solution is going to be given by y equal the general solution of the homogeneous plus the particular solution. To solve the homogeneous, we need to think about making this non-homogeneous part equal to zero. And then we solve this second order differential equation. In order to solve this second order differential equation, we replace the second derivative by a lambda square. We replace the first derivative by a lambda. And we replace the y by just one. And then we get a quadratic equation. Then we solve this quadratic equation. Uh, lambda equal negative b, negative four, plus or minus the square root of b square, which is 16, minus four times a, which is one times 13, over two. And then uh, this is negative four, plus or minus, a square root of negative 36 over 2, and this is negative 4 plus or minus 6i over 2, and this is negative 2 plus or minus 3i. Then we see this as an alpha plus beta plus or minus beta i, with beta is bigger than 0, and that means that the solution of the homogeneous is going to be uh, C1 e to the alpha, in this case alpha is equal negative 2 and beta is 3, then is C1 e to the alpha negative 2 t cosine of 3 t plus C2 e to the negative 2 t sine of 3 t. And then we are waiting here for the solution the particular solution. Then we have solved the homogeneous by solving a quadratic. Let's go back to the original equation. To find a particular solution, we look at the non-homogeneous part, and then we look for something similar. In this case, the particular solution is something of the form A cosine of 3t, but remember, anytime you invite cosine of 3t, you need to invite sine of 3t, then you do plus b sine of 3t. And then uh, you need to ask yourself, do I need a second guess? But then we look at the solution of the homogeneous, and we notice that even though it looks like this function is a multiple of this, it is not a multiple because we look for a second guess when, when the homogeneous contains your particular solution up to a number, but this is not a number. Then this is okay. This is going to work. We don't need a second guess. Then what we need to do is we need to do what the differential equation tells us to do, and then we find A and B. You see, we have to take a derivative. The derivative is negative 3A sine of 3t plus 3b cosine of 3t and the second derivative is negative 9a cosine of 3t minus 9b sine of 3t and then we replace second derivative negative 9a cosine of 3t minus 9b sine of 3t plus 4 times the first derivative. But the first derivative is this, negative 3a sine of 3t plus 3b cosine of 3t plus 13 times the original function, a cosine of 3t plus b sine of 3t, and we want this to be equal to 40 times cosine of 3t. 
Then uh, we have to find two numbers, A and B, and then we need to come out with two equations. And we do that by comparing the coefficient of cosine of 3t and the coefficient of sine of 3t. Let's see what we have. On the left, what contributes to cosine of 3t? We have a negative 9a from here. What else? Here we have a plus 12b, right? Cosine of 3t. What else? Plus 13a cosine of 3t. And we want this to be the coefficient of cosine of 3t on the right, which is 40. What about sine of 3t? We have a negative 9b sine of 3t. Here we have a minus 12a sine of 3t. And here we have plus 13b sine of 3t. And we want this to be the coefficient of sine of 3t on the right, which is 0. Then we have to solve this system. Uh, let's see, we have a 4a plus 12b equal 40. And here we have a negative 12a. Um, plus 4b equals 0. Let's divide by 4. And then we get a plus 3b equals 10. And here we have negative 3a plus b equals 0. And then if I multiply by 3 and add, then I get 10, and uh, the a's cancel out. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10b equal to 30. And that means that b is equal to 3. And if b is equal to 3, a would be equal to uh, 1. Then we have our particular solution. The particular solution, this particular solution is A, which is 1, is cosine of 3t, plus B, plus 3, sine of 3t. Then this is what is considered the general solution of this differential equation, but now we're going to find C1 and C2 so that this solution satisfies satisfy the initial conditions. We have taken care of the particular solution, and now we are going to find C1 and C2. We want to find two numbers, C1 and C2, and then we have to come out with two equations. We are going to use these two equations. Then, uh, we are ready to use this one, but we are not ready to use this equation. Why not? Because we have to take the derivative of the function. The derivative of the function is, uh, we have to do the product rule here. We have negative 2 c1 e to the negative 2t cosine of 3t. The derivative of cosine is negative 3 sine of 3t. It will be minus 3 c1 e to the negative 2t sine of 3t. Now this minus 2 c2 e to the negative 2t sine of 3t. And then plus 3 c2 e to the negative 2t cosine of 3t uh, minus 3 sine of 3t plus 9 cosine of 3t. This is the derivative. Now let's set up the equations. We want y of 0 to be equal 1. That means that when I replace this with 0, I want to get 1. If I replace with 0, e to the 0 is 1, cosine of 0 is 1, then I will be getting c1. Sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. There will be c1 plus 1 
plus zero, we want that to be equal to one. Right? Therefore, we want C1 is zero. Now, uh, let's do the other equation. We want the derivative to be equal to negative two. We already know that C1 is zero, then this part is zero, this part is zero. Since we are evaluating at zero, this part is zero. And then we have that three times C2, right? And this is part is zero plus nine. Uh, this should be equal to uh, negative two. And that means that C2 is negative 11 over three. Therefore, the solution of the initial value problem is going to be C1 is zero, C2 is negative 11 over three, is negative 11 over three, e to the negative two t, sine of three t, plus cosine of three t, plus three sine of three t. This is the solution of the initial value problem. Okay, this is it for this video.